Yeah, we are already very busy here in the Fox 61 by here in your kitchen. We are with Chef Emily Mingrone and her partner and beverage director, Shane McGowan. They're here to showcase some really incredible winter food and cocktail pairings. Of course, offered at Tavern on State and Fairhaven Oyster Company that's only been open for about a year. Yep. Congratulations and welcome Thank to you. Back to the Kitchen. We're glad you're here. Thank you. Now, Emily, you've got a pork milanese already working there. Yep. And a sausage. So, yeah, we have a couple great things going on here. The um, sausage is a dish that we're doing as a special at Fairhaven Oyster Company. We have a winter chalet kind of vibe going on every Tuesday. Cool. Um, $100. We need that because we haven't really felt much life of winter, right? Exactly. <laughs> and our space kind of lends itself to that sort of cozy vibe. Exactly. Right, exactly. We have the wood paneling, cozy. We mm -hmm. got all the decorations that you would expect that is just ski chalet. chalet. Right. Um, and we're doing four courses inspired by Alpine cuisine. Mm. So this one's really special because it's a house-made Toulouse sausage, mm. which we make at our butcher shop, Provisions on State. Uh, so we like to keep it all in-house. This is just simply prepared with garlic, black pepper, and our house pork, uh, which we get from Walden Hill Farm. Hi, Jen. Um, <laughs> she's a Connecticut local, and she's great. Um, so this is going to be plated, topped with a nice gooey raclette cheese, which I'll pull out of the oven, which is an alpine staple. Uh -huh. And then here we're working the pork milanese, yeah, which is a, a staple dish at Tavern on State. Uh, it's just breaded with standard breading, egg, panko flour, and we have a beautiful sauce rabbit goat on the plate there, which I will end up uh -huh. uh, on top of. It's garlicky, it's tarragon, uh, really just savory and punchy. Really what we need for that winter chalet vibe. Yeah, exactly. And, and to uh, go along with that, Shane, you've got a great drink. <laughs> yeah, so one of our most popular cocktails is called the Alpine Arrow. So it's a uh, Skin sour, so it has muddled cucumber, egg white, which a lot of people are weirdly nervous about, but it's totally safe, I promise. Right, because people are like, oh, it's raw egg, and you're yeah. like, what? You know what? It's fine. Egg. All the bacteria is actually on the outside of it, so as long as you're properly caring for yeah. them, the egg white, and then we're going to do, this is just a little bit of simple syrup, a green chili agave that we make in house. Some lime juice. And this is an alpine liqueur called Genesee Lissimois. So um, alpine herbs and spices in there. So it's kind of like chartreuse, but just not as mm. punchy. Mm -hmm. And then with egg white cocktails, we usually, um, my pork stop's not cooperating. Uh, you usually get <laughs> Camera a, shy. We call yeah. it <laughs> exactly. uh, a dry stick. So normally you take a cocktail with ice right away. With egg white, you want to emulsify it. So you kind of just, everything's just in here without ice, so just to get it all together, you give it a good, vigorous dry shake, uh -huh. and then you can add the ice after and take. So that's a key, key uh, point to keep in mind, is to do the ice after. Yeah, so you want to definitely, if, if there's egg white involved, you want to take without ice first, otherwise the uh -huh. egg won't completely combine with all the other ingredients. Right. And you add your ice, and give it a shake. Quite the shake there. I always tell him to shake what his mama gave him. Absolutely. There you got it. There we go. Now Shane is pouring that one out. I can't wait to try that. But Emily, we have got a lot to talk about because the second year you've been nominated for Best Chef in Connecticut at the Crazy Awards, which is put on by the Connecticut Restaurant Association. Second year in a row. That's really awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And I can't be remiss to mention you were named Best Chef last year. So it sure two was. years of nominations. Yeah, this That's last year, it's awesome. Yeah. We got best I got Best Chef last year. We got Best Restaurant South Region this year. Mm -hmm. And then our first year, we got newcomer of the year. So we're going to try All and keep around. the ball rolling. Yeah, well, that's really great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it really goes to show what your hard work has oh, done. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's really paying off. And to be a woman in the industry, kind of bringing that recognition to the hard work that we put in every day is really special. Absolutely. You're you're an inspiration. Thank you. You really are. Thank I'm you. Glad to have you. We're going to try and plate that up as quickly as possible. Just want a nice shot of this gooey cheese oh, yeah. here. Let's, let's get into it. Tim. So this is the raclette. Mm. Just gonna drape it right over the sausage here. Well, oh, that's the money shot, right, Tim? Yeah. Part of our chalet menu. My pork is taking forever, but it's delicious. And then we're garnished with a few pickled carrots Fantastic. and a little bit of chervil. All right. Well, I will cheers and have a taste of that drink in the cup. Oh, yeah. you know what? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Go that. <laughs> well, cheers. Alpine to you guys. cuisine. Cheers. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Mm. 
Ooh, that is amazing. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.